We're here in a state park in southern Ohio where a naturalist friend of ours has tipped us off about a board line, an area of artificial cover that's been laid out to attract snakes. So in this area there are all kinds of amazing species that we can find, so we're gonna go check out the board line right over here and see if there's any awesome snakes waiting for us. So the first board is right over here. You can see it's actually just a trash can lid. So let's see. Oh. There's a northern ring net. Wow. How cool is that? That's awesome. First flip of the day, and we already have our first herp on the board, a ring neck snake. Good Amazing pun. little find. And this is a cute one too. So this is a great sign of things to come. It actually looks like he's shedding a bit, so I'm gonna put him right back. You can see there's some, just a little patch of scales coming off his back which is totally natural. I'm gonna get this guy back under though. There you go, friends. Well, amazing start already. Let's see what else is out here. Northern water snake. Oh. No, there's a milk snake. Oh my God. There's a milk snake. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no oh, way. Yeah. I saw the vans and I was like, Oh my. Goodness! No way! Oh no way! I'm sure. Oh, you're okay. You're alright. Is she okay? She's wrapped around plastic. She's wrapped around plastic right now. I'll hold the. Yeah. Is she tangled up in it? Like, can she move? There. Uh, okay. So, there was a piece of plastic wrapped around her tail. Wow. She seems to be okay. I don't see any damage from it. What a beautiful snake. I'm glad we were able to get her out of there. You could see we were struggling more than normal to take her out from under that flip. There was a piece of plastic wrapped around her tail. Wow. So she may have been stuck down there. She looks okay though. How incredible is this? This is the Eastern Milk Snake, one of our longest standing target species here in Ohio. And you can see she is absolutely the sweetest snake you could ever hope to encounter. Even after pulling her out from undercover and having to kind of wrestle her out of a piece of plastic, she has not once tried to strike, tried to musk, or do anything to indicate that she is threatened by our presence at all. She's just curious, sticking that tongue out of her mouth to kind of gauge what's going on in her environment. And she's just being so calm and docile, and that's one thing I absolutely love about this species. Eastern milk snakes vary greatly throughout their range in coloration. You can see this individual has more of a drab gray color, but in certain areas, they'll be bright red and white, and their banding is incredibly distinct. But when they're dark like this, one easy way to distinguish them from other species is looking for those wide saddle-shaped bands that run along the top of her body. And then if you have a look at her underbelly scales there, they have a very distinct pattern as well, which can easily be used to identify this species. And she's wrapped around my arm right now, but she is not at all trying to hurt me. She's just looking for a little warmth. It's pretty cold right now, but she is being an absolute sweetheart, which is exactly what I'd expect when working with the Eastern Milk Snake. There's actually a very interesting story about how the Eastern Milk Snake got its name. Originally, Farmers believed that milk snakes would come in during the night and suck the milk out of their cows because they would often observe them hanging around their barns. But in reality, they were way off. The snakes were actually there trying to get a meal, but not off of the cows. The snakes were feeding on rats and mice that hung around the barns trying to eat the grains in the silos. In the wild, eastern milk snakes feed on a variety of small mammals, including rodents, as well as birds and small reptiles, but they don't have any venom to kill their prey. They rely on constriction. They will wrap around the prey, cut off the blood supply to the brain, and make a meal out of them very easily. One thing we want to point out is that the eastern milk snake is never a species that you have to fear. They're completely harmless to people, and if you stay out of their way, they will stay out of yours. They have no interest in ever approaching a person. 
the eastern milk snake is absolutely beautiful and they have a fascinating bit of history. So if you ever see this snake out in the wild, consider yourself lucky. It's time to let this girl back under her board so she can get back to thermoregulating, maybe get some hunting in before it gets colder. But this was such a treat. Our first milk snake in Ohio. Bye, sweetheart. It always feels great to check a species off our bucket list when we're looking for them for a really long time and not having any luck and then finally we have that encounter that we've been waiting for. It's just the best feeling for herpers like us. Absolutely. If you enjoyed learning about the eastern milk snake and want to learn about another adorable species of snake, check out this video where we take a look at the decays brown snake. And with that, we hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.